Listen to me very carefully. The internet you are using right now, it's broken. It is fundamentally fragile. We are one bad update, one massive cyber attack away from the lights absolutely going out. You think I'm exaggerating? Look at their headlines. Massive cloud outages taken down. Airlines, banks, and hospitals, and many more. Data breaches exposing millions of us every single week. But why? Because Web 2.0, the internet we know today, is built on a house of cards. It's centralized, it's vulnerable, and frankly, it's becoming a national security nightmare. But what if I told you there's a fix, not a patch, a complete architectural overhaul? There is one protocol emerging that doesn't just want to be another crypto coin that you trade or use. It wants to be the internet. It's building a hybrid future that solves the biggest crisis in tech today that we know. It's me, Domenico, again. And today we are bisecting the World Computer Internet Computer Protocol, ICP. We're talking about why the old web is dying and the multi-trillion dollar shift to Web 2.5 and the ticking time bomb that no one is talking about, the quantum threat. And if you want to be ahead of the curve, you need to watch this entire video. Let's end it. All right, let's get real for a second. We all love the modern internet, right? It gave us social media, streaming, YouTube, instant everything. That's Web 2.0. But there's the dirty little secret. We traded for that convenience. Centralization. Think about it. If almost everything you do online, your emails, your banking, your photos, where do they all live? They live on servers owned by three or four massive companies. You know the names. Amazon AWS, which blacked out last week, Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, they are landlords of the internet today. We're just renting space. And because everything is concentrated in these massive data centers, they become honeypots for hackers. It's simple math. If you're a hacker, why try to break into a million individual houses when you can just blow open the doors of the central bank? It's simple. That's why. We are seeing a pandemic of cybersecurity failures. It's not just about losing your password anymore. It's about crippling infrastructure. And governments are starting to freak out. That's why Google called it a national security threat, because they are realizing their entire digital existence relies on private cloud servers that, well, they break. And when we onboard AI mass adoption, oh, it's only going to go parabolic. And this is the reason why this isn't sustainable. We can't build the future of finance, artificial intelligence, and governance on a foundation that cracks every time someone misconfigures a server. So what's the answer? For a while, everyone screamed, Web3, decentralize everything. Look, I know, I love the enthusiasm, but let's be honest, most Web3 stuff right now, it's clunky, slow, and hard to use. You can't run a high-speed modern application put on Bitcoin or even traditional Ethereum right now. It's not built for that. But enter the internet computer and ICP is doing something that's radically different. It's not just a ledger for recording transactions. It's a world computer. Imagine if you could take this centralized cloud, AWS, Google, and shatter into a thousand independent pieces all over the world, but they still act as one seamless computer. That's ICP. It allows developers to build everything talking from the front end, what you see, and the back end where the logic and data lives directly on a blockchain that's 100% decentralized with no Amazon servers required. They call these canisters, think of them like supercharged smart contracts. They don't just hold the tokens, they hold the entire applications. But what does this matter? Because it removes the single point of failure. If one node goes down, the network doesn't care. It keeps running. It's tamper-proof, so... You can't just hack one server and steal everyone's data because the data isn't sitting in one server. It's cryptographically secured across the network. This is the hybrid utility. It's talking and taking the speed and user experience we expect from Web2 that everyone's been talking about, but giving it the indestructible backbone of a genuine crypto protocols. So I want to know where you stand on this. Do you trust big tech with all your data? Because I don't. And are you ready for a decentralized hybrid alternative? So drop a trust or decentralized in the comments right now. And I want to see the ratio. And while you're down there, 
Smash that like button if you want me to keep bringing these deep dives before the mainstream media catches on. You're done? Awesome. Now, this is the next part. This is what keeps experts up at night. We need to talk about the elephant in the room, the thing that could generally break crypto and the entire internet permanently. Quantum computing. Quantum computers are coming. They are inevitable. And when they get powerful enough, the encryption that currently secures everything, your bank details, your government secrets, everything from your crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum wallets could be cracked just like that with a flick of a finger. And hackers are already doing something called Harvest Now to crypto later. They are stealing encrypted data that you can't read. Yes, just waiting for a day, a quantum computer can unlock it. But most blockchains are terrified of this. But why? Because to fix it, they have to do a very hard fork. And if you've been in crypto, you know that hard forks are messy. It's political and it divides communities. So imagine you're trying to get the entire global financial system to agree to upgrade the software all at once on a Tuesday. It's a recipe for disaster. This is ICP's ace in the hole. ICP was designed with something called crypto agility. It means a network can upgrade on its own cryptographically without a hard fork. It doesn't need a civil war to fix the security flaw. It just evolves. And that's why it was built for the quantum future. They saw this problem when they started ICP. While well, other chains are going to be scrambling. This is inevitable. We're talking years out. They're going to be scrambling, fighting, and potentially splitting when the quantum threat arrives. ICP is architecture design to just swap out the locks seamlessly. So it is arguably the most future-proof layer one protocol because it anticipates that technology will change and it's built a mechanism to handle the inevitability. That is huge for national security and that is huge for enterprise adoption. This is a massive multi trillion dollar solution. So how do we make money on this? How does this actually play out in the real world? You know, I don't believe everyone is just going to delete the AWS accounts tomorrow and move to ICP. That's a fantasy, we all like that, but it's just not gonna happen. The future will be hybrid and it's web 2.5. We're already seeing forecasts. We're talking nearly a hundred billion dollar mark for web three in the next decade, growing at like 40% CAGR yearly. This is insane growth. You know, Gartner is major heavy hitters in tech research. They're predicting that huge chunks of enterprise businesses will start wrapping their centralized services with decentralized apps by 2027. They're going to use protocols like ICP to handle the stuff that needs to be secure, trustless, and unstoppable. Well, maybe keeping some legacy stuff on standard servers for now. ICP is positioned perfectly as that bridge. It's not just saying, burn it all down. It's saying, hey, here is a better unbreakable utility you can plug into your existing stack to keep it safe and secure as a backup. And that, in my opinion, is how mass adoption happens. Not with a revolution, but with superior utility that solves a painful multi-trend dollar problem. Look, the cracks in Web 2.0 are getting wider every single day as AI becomes more mass adoptive. Every major hack, every cloud outage, every time a centralized platform senses a user without reason, more people start looking for an alternative. We need an internet that is resilient. We need an internet that doesn't have a master off switch. ICP, yes, it is complex, it is ambitious, and yeah, it's got some steep learning curve to go through, but it is one of the only protocol, and it is the only protocol trying to solve the root problem of the internet architecture that we know, rather than just trying to be fast digital money or just to be an ERC token with a label. Are you going to wait until the current system completely breaks before you pay attention? Because that's inevitable. Or are you going to do your homework today? Keep your eyes on this hybrid model. It's not just the future of crypto. It might be the future of the internet and not financial advice in my opinion, it will be the future of the internet. We will eventually inevitably move to a hybrid model. And if you found this breakdown valuable as I have, you know what to do. Subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss the next ICP Alpha video. I do my best to drop these videos daily and it's a lot of time out of my day to make these videos because we're just scratching the surface of this shift and it's going to be massive. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay ahead, stay decentralized and peace out.